Відходимо, відходимо. Вал... Валуми, так? Russian forces have entered Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, as residents of the Ukrainian capital reported a massive explosion and other blasts early on February 27th, as Russia's war on its neighbor intensified and as Western powers announced a new dramatic step in efforts to punish Moscow with sanctions for its aggression. The head of the Kharkiv Regional Administration, Oleg Senegubov, said that Ukrainian forces were fighting Russian troops in the city and asked civilians not to leave their homes. Videos posted online by Ukrainian officials showed Russian vehicles moving across Kharkiv and a light vehicle burning on the street. Senegubov urged residents to stay inside, saying Russian troops appear to be in the city center. <laughs> Meanwhile, an explosion hit the southeastern part of Chiv just after midnight and left a glowing red light over what media reported was likely a military fuel depot. There were no immediate reports on drainage or injuries in what could be the start of the final battle for Kyiv and the Ukrainian nation. Authorities say a Russian strike hit an oil depot in Vasil Kyiv, a city just south of Kyiv. There were also reports of a blast heard to the west of Kyiv city center and air raid sirens. Amid reports of clashes near Kharkiv, President Volodymyr Zelensky's office said Russian forces blew up a gas pipeline in the city, prompting the government to warn people to protect themselves from the smoke by covering their windows with a damp cloth or gaze. Zelensky's office said another explosion was reported at the civilian Zulihani airport. Meanwhile, the leaders of the European Union, France, Germany, Italy, Britain, Canada and the United States agreed to block access for a number of Russian banks to the SWIFT banking system, as well as imposing restrictive measures against Russia's central bank for Moscow's and provoked invasion of Ukraine.